in today's lesson. We'll be learning the song Octavius the Octopus to practice our interval greeting by focusing on our eighth intervals. Let's get started. This song will be in our middle C position and we will only be using our left hand. So let's take a second to remember where that position is. We will be starting with our left hand thumb on middle C. Place your hands in the correct position and when we're all ready, let's get started with this first section. In these first two measures, we will be playing two notes. We will be playing middle C, and we will be playing low C. Parents, take a moment to make sure you and your child remember where our low C note is. We will be playing our middle C note twice, and then our pinky will stretch to our low C note. Parents, if you and your child are unable to stretch your hands that far, it's okay. Ideally, we want to practice training our hands to reach that stretch, but for now, you can move your hand slightly to the left in order to reach that low C with your pinky. We will be repeating the same pattern in the next measure. Our thumb will play middle C twice and our pinky will play low C. Take a moment to practice this with your parents first. And like I said, if you can't reach the stretch, feel free to leap between the two notes. When we're all ready, let's try and play this together. Parents, I will be playing this with the rhythms as written. I'll give us a countdown. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great job. If you'd like to practice that some more, feel free to go back and repeat this section as many times as you'd like. Now let's move on to the next section. We'll be starting with our finger number one on middle C and taking steps down to our finger number three. Then we'll take a step back up to our finger number two. In the next measure, we will be repeating our octave pattern from earlier. Our finger number one will play middle C twice, and then we will leap to our finger number five on low C. Take a moment to practice this with your parents, and parents, let's make sure that the leap to our low C is smooth. We want to prepare our pinky for that stretch before we play it, so it doesn't sound too awkward. When we're all ready, let's try playing this section together. Watch my hand as we approach the leap in the second measure. I'll give us a countdown. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Amazing job. If you'd like to practice this section again, feel free to go back and do so. Otherwise, let's move on to the next line of our music. In these last four measures, we will be taking steps from our low C all the way to our middle C. We will be using our finger number three to play each note. When we get to the top, we will play our middle C note twice, and then we will end by holding out our low C note for four beats. Take a moment to practice this with your parents first, and parents, feel free to use the lyrics to count the distance between our low C and middle C notes and talk about why this interval is called an eighth. Let's also make sure that each note we play is played strongly. When we're all ready, let's try and play this together. Parents, I will be playing these last four measures as written so you know what it looks and sounds like. I'll give us a countdown. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sounding amazing. If you'd like to go back and practice this last line of music, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we are done with Octavius the Octopus. Parents, to help your child practice this week, you can have them first identify all of the octaves in our music. You can play the measures with octaves multiple times so you can build up finger strength when you're stretching between the two notes. You can also discuss how big an octave skip is. I've left a hint just in case you guys might need it. And as a bonus, you can always play different octaves around your piano too. So try moving it up to a different set of keys. Or you can also try doing this same jump in your right hand using your finger numbers one and five. And of course, feel free to section out your music and annotate. Happy practicing.